Hey, hey, great day to you. Alicia Askew, your trusted and dedicated realtor with eXp Realty. So I had another great question come in based off of a previous video that I posted comparing FHA loans with conventional loans. And the question of the day is, what is mortgage insurance premiums and how does it work and when does it fall off? So that is a great question. And so FHA mortgage insurance premium, also known as MIP, is a little different from conventional private mortgage insurance. And so today we are going to be talking about FHA mortgage insurance premiums. So if you are using an FHA loan to buy a home and you are not putting down at least 20% for your down payment, then you are automatically going to be charged a mortgage insurance premium. And so with FHA, there are actually two mortgage insurance premiums. You have your annual mortgage insurance premium, which is charged in your monthly payment. And then you also have the upfront mortgage insurance premium that is paid at the time of closing. And so how much do you pay for mortgage insurance premium? Well, that all varies based on your purchase price and it varies based on the length of your loan and also how much you put down as well. But let's take a look at this chart which breaks down everything in a more clear and concise view. For FHA MIP, if you put down more than 10% on a purchase price of $625,500 or less, then your estimated MIP will be about 0.8% for 11 years. And if you put down less than 10% on a purchase price of $625,500 or less, then your estimated MIP will be anywhere between 0.8 to 0.85%. And that will be for the entire time that you have that loan in place on your house. So if you are purchasing a house that is more than $625,500, and if you are putting down more than 10%, then your MIP will be around 1% for 11 years. And vice versa, if you're putting down less than 10%, then your MIP will be around 1% to 1.05% for the entire length of the loan term. And so those are calculated into your monthly payments. As far as the upfront MIP, mortgage insurance premium, it is around 1.75% of the purchase price of the loan amount, and that is paid at closing. So pretty much because of the great benefits of having a low down payment option, the MIP was put into place to protect the lenders and the investors who purchase his loans from any kind of loss or default if you were not able to repay the loan. So I know this was a ton of information and it still may be a little confusing, but please do not hesitate to reach out, call, text, email or DM and I am here to always help you get your questions answered for your dream and your journey of home ownership.